Good morning, people. Mr. Atrophy here. I'm uh, on the highway, so it's a little noisy. And uh, I'm not exactly looking straight at the camera the whole time, so I have to forgive me. I haven't truck vlogged in a little bit, so I figure I may as well do it now. Um, I've got a decision that I've made. Um, I'm getting surgery on, on my nose to fix a deviated septum and a sinus issue. And my girlfriend thinks I'm nuts, but I want to get as much as I can of it on camera. It helped me a lot when I was doing uh, going through Paxil withdrawal. So I think it will also help doing this. Um, the surgery is going to take about an hour and uh, I, I, I'm not going to film the actual surgery because, well, I don't want to see myself cut open and I, I don't think you guys either. But if I can get one of the nurses to film me in, until I'm out and then to film me as soon as I wake up and then in the recovery process, I think that would be interesting. And uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's kind of like a crutch. I don't know why, but it makes me a little bit braver. And, well, I'm a freaking wimp. The, the last surgery I had was a spinal surgery. And it was supposed to be an outpatient, but there were some complications. And I ended up staying in the hospital for about four days. Um, and I know this is supposed to be an outpatient. Um, but there, there's very much a likelihood that the surgery will be more complicated. And they're probably going to have to watch me overnight. Um, so I'm... I'm they, they pretty much told me that I, I should count on staying overnight, but they may get lucky with the surgery and not have to do some things. Um, and sometimes I think ignorance is the, the better part of valor, so, you know, kind of the less I know, the, the, the better off I personally am. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to be filming as much of that as I can. And that is the 26th. And I should be in the hospital the 27th. And so the 28th through 30th, I should have it up. Um, and I know there are a couple of you which are regular uh, watchers of me. Is that the correct term? Subscribers? Well, whatever. Um, I wonder what you think. Um, is that something I should just skip and talk about it afterwards? Or is that something that may be interesting? Um, I'm really not sure. So, um, anyway. This is, uh, I've got some decent traffic coming up here, so I will, uh, I'll talk to you, talk to you guys later, um, and yeah, there's a cop coming up behind me too, I think, so I don't want to, I really don't know if driving and talking to this thing is illegal or not, um, it's not a cell phone, but anyway, we've had this discussion before, it's like the fourth video I made, um, have a nice day, everybody. I just remembered something. I've asked you guys a moral questions before. There's this woman in the store. Um, okay, let me start over. It's 94 to 96 outside and humid. Uh, it rained last night, so it's close to 100% humidity. The index is over 105. And I'm working, you know, and 
this lady walks by and she's in a, a like a summer dress a sundress except it's white and it's not lace but it could have been and she had been sweating and this, this thing was just completely see-through um, I'm not complaining um, I'm a fan of the female form and all its shape, shape and sizes and uh, all, all of that and um, but I, I almost mentioned it to her I said um, uh, ma'am you know you're uh, you're pretty close to naked I don't know if you realize that but you're not leaving anything to the imagination at all um, now from a guy from me I think that would make me sound like a pervert from a woman I think a woman could get away with it but not a guy I don't think so what do you think if I were to approach that situation uh, professionally how uh, how would I do that what would I say how would I put it so it didn't make me sound perverted? Um, I was tempted to pull out my camera, but I know that would have got me in trouble. Um, anyway, and my girlfriend probably would have kicked my ass.